How's it going everyone? College Lefty and in this video I'm going to be getting back into some showdown grinding. I'm going to be completing the stage 2 showdown for the most part during this video. I focused on stage 1 in the previous one. But before I get into that I want to talk a little bit about the brand new World Series rewards. I'll go ahead and hide my face cam. Now this card right here, Bobby Witt Jr. is not a World Series reward. It is a pennant race reward for reaching 500 rating in ranked seasons. That card's pretty good against lefties, solid infielder. We also have 90, a Goose Gossage. This card is all right. He has a good pitch mix, fastball, sinker, and slurve. His control is a little low, or at least his walks per nine. His control's at 76 with 96 velocity. He does not have the outlier quirk either, so that's something to keep in mind as well. This 97 Dustin Pedroia is one of the brand new MVP World Series award cards, and he's all right. 114 contact versus right, 106 versus left, 65 power against right, 78 versus left with 115 vision. Also has 108 clutch, diamond fielding, and 69 speed with 82 base running or steel attributes. So with that being said, he will be able to swipe some bags. This next card, George Foster, is the card I'm going to go with. This card has a ton of power. 100 against both sides for contact and power. He also has 82 vision, 84 clutch, 79 fielding. He will have secondary positions in center field and right field with 52 speed. So I wouldn't necessarily use him in center field because of that speed, but he does have that position available. So as you can see here, I'm level 90 with 483,000 stubs. I have been uh, completing a couple exchanges. I have bought some cards recently trying to try out some new cards. But as you can see there, the season did reset as I backed out, went uh, back into it, and I now I'm at 700 rating. So with that being said, I haven't played a game of ranked seasons yet. I wanted to focus on grinding out these team affinities before I get into ranked. I'm preparing for stage three, which I think will be released in a couple of weeks from now. I talked about it in my previous video. I think that we are about two to three weeks away. I think that the program would come out as late as early July. So the beginning of next week or the beginning of next month would be the latest I think the program would be released. But anyway, we're getting into showdown. I kind of sped it up a little bit. I'll take you through some more of the action, but I'm still using this exact same method, skipping all the way to the end after drafting and just trying to complete it this way. This is Definitely the fastest way to earn XP, the fastest way to complete this showdown, the fastest way to earn program stars without, uh, I guess, playing ranked seasons, without playing the event, with, I guess, just grinding online Diamond Dynasty modes. This is probably the fastest way. I will be able to unlock the 300 program star boss in this video as well. So I do, I'm at 285, as you can see, keep that in mind as we level up here. Uh, diamond level 88 as well. I probably completed this showdown about six or seven times today in total out of about 10 tries. So about 70% completion percentage today so far. And I do plan on completing it a couple more times tonight. Just trying to, you know, hang out, relax, maybe complete this showdown mode a couple times and work towards getting that level 99 diamond, that prestige XP reward path unlocked. But as you can see here, we're tied up at 15 to 15. I did, uh, however, fail this showdown at 15 to 15 two times in a row to start off the stream today. So if you want to take a look at what that, you know, what happened there, what went wrong, what did I do? Um, basically, you know, we saw a little bit of everything today on the stream. We saw some diving plays from the outfield. We saw some base runners running on their own. We saw all types of stuff. We saw perfect, perfect line drives. We saw line outs. We saw home runs, all kinds of stuff. So anyway, we are going to go ahead and get right back into this. This is another attempt. This is a different attempt, even though we're facing the same team, the same player. This, I think this showdown right here against Ryan Rollison is the easiest showdown in the entire game. I think that's uh, even facing Josh Hader, even facing... Michael Kopech, even facing any of those pitchers in the AL Central Division. I think that this one is even easier just because of the way this guy throws. Once you get the confidence down, it's almost like it's batting practice. He just throws them in there. Uh, they, a lot of his stuff just hangs over the plate. 
and comes in pretty slow. He doesn't throw any hard. It's just kind of batting practice. Mid-90s with slow off-speed. So anyway, I'm curious to try this card out in ranked seasons. But in this showdown, I usually uh, am able to complete it every time I play against this Ryan Rollison. So that's kind of interesting. Figured I would include that as well. But here we are with uh, three runs remaining. We have 12 outs to work with. So this should be not a problem at all. Now, I have been in this type of situation and just start to hit the ball right to people. This is where double plays will certainly hurt you. I mean, if the, the pitcher gets his confidence up, the opponents will start to make diving plays more often. They'll start to... Uh, just seems like they play much better in showdown, if that makes sense, once the pitcher's confidence gets all the way down and then starts to rise again. So anyway, we're down to the last run right here. We need to just hit a home run or base hit. We'll do it. We get a home run on a pitch. I wasn't even close to uh, the ball with the PCI. Sometimes that will happen on veteran. You get a lot of good okays with weird timing. You get a lot of weird hits go your way, especially if you get that confidence down. So anyway, in this one, we do... Uh, Get the 17 runs. We'll go in, go ahead and hop into another one. In this one, I think I hit like three or four home runs with Tatis. It's a great way to start the showdown with a home run or a couple base hits and a couple home runs to start with to get those runs. Those early, you know, five, six, seven runs are the most important because that's what's going to get the confidence down initially. If you get too many outs in a row, then you might put yourself in a hole in that way. So. Anyway, 15 outs. We got a couple outs in a row, like I just said. And a home run will help the confidence in a negative way for the pitcher. That's exactly what we're looking for. We're looking to tack on a couple runs. This lineup was pretty good as well. Here we have Tatis coming up once again. Another no-doubter two-run shot. And that's why you want to put your guys that you think you're going to hit best with in these showdowns at the top of the lineup because they are going to get more at-bats. But you also want to have it balanced out because sometimes, you know, you get stuck at the very end of this showdown using this method and you have your bottom couple of guys up trying to clutch it out and that's kind of what happened to me a little bit today just the times i failed it i just didn't clutch up i had you know one run or two runs left to score with a couple outs or one out remaining and had a couple guys on base just could not capitalize but i'm going to take you through all of the attempts that i was able to complete i might as well because we're trying to help everybody out it wouldn't really help too much if i showed you guys the times when i failed it but after failing it i'm trying to use those experiences and use that uh, i guess data or information to relay what to do to kind of avoid failing it and what to do that has helped me succeed it so with that being said, we are going to unlock Helio Ramos right here. I will also have a couple vouchers stashed away or saved up for a different program. I'm going to also be looking to get uh, the Mets Team Affinity unlocked. I'm not really sure exactly what that person's name. I think it's like Andres Jimenez or something like that. But that's who I'm going to be going for after this one. So by doing this, I'm building my stubs up. I'm building my... Uh, uh, vouchers up i'm exchanging those i have completed a couple exchanges and i'm not going to take you through a couple other showdowns i'd rather open up some of these packs hopefully we can get a diamond as well as we will have the uh fourth inning boss complete the third the fourth inning program at 300 stars and i will be selecting felix hernandez so we have a few packs here a couple ball and packs and 24 team affinity packs because i completed both the giants and the mets team affinity i was i didn't really have too much progress on those but this is how i've been able to build up my stubs this is how i've been able to pull a couple diamonds as well out of these free packs i pulled ronald acuna i pulled a few guys i pulled uh who else i pulled Catel Marte, francisco lindor a couple different guys i got mike trout out of the twitch pack i have been able to pull quite a few diamonds this year probably over 10 diamonds a couple walker buehlers i got matt chapman as an after game reward i pulled a few low level diamonds as well uh george springer one time i thought i got my second mike trout that was kind of funny but uh 17 packs for team affinity right here figured i would include these in a video figured i would save up some as well if you notice i also have a ducks on the pond pack I'm actually not going to open up that in this video. I want to save that until those packs are no longer in the store. I'm going to be opening that up in a separate video, probably with some other packs in that as well. So I wanted to kind of save that. Here we get a diamond sponsorship. So that's going to be a thousand stubs. I'll probably just go ahead 
and quick sell that. Uh, as you can see, though, moving up in the XP reward path, level 94. I was at probably like level 75 to 79 in that range the other uh, the last few days, and I've been able to grind out about 15 levels in no time at all, just completing showdown a bunch of times. I've unlocked three future star cards in the last two days, which really isn't that great. It's if you think about it, but I also didn't put you know. Uh, many many hours i didn't spend both days grinding out the game entirely i only put about six hours into that and yeah about six to seven hours probably playing showdown grinding out that method and i did fail a few times if i didn't do that i probably wouldn't have been able to get up to four guys but we ended up getting three which is still pretty good three brand new future star cards that i kind of want to try out we got the evan white recently now in this video we got andres Jimenez as well as uh, the guy from the Giants, Helio Ramos. And I think that uh, we could see a couple of really good cards for Stage 4 for some of these teams. Like, for example, uh, for the Giants, we might see Willie Mays for Stage 4. I don't really know. He was the collection reward last year. He might be a little bit easier to unlock this year, even though he's probably one of the best cards in the game. If not, you know, rivals Mickey Mantle in that way. Could be a World Series reward. Could be Stage 4. They could go with someone like Monte Irvin for the Giants in Stage 3. We might see, you know, a couple good players in Stage 3 and Stage 4, I would, I would think. So, here we go. We get a diamond. We get a closing pitcher from the National League. Hopefully, it's a breakout or a, a prime series player. I was hoping for uh, Gagne or Dibble. But we do get Kirby Yates. We get Kirby Yates. I'll take that. I was hoping for a big pull, but hey, a stubs are stubs. I will definitely take 11,000 or 10,000 stubs, whatever that is. Here we'll go ahead and open up this fourth inning boss. Select Felix Hernandez. He'll go right in the rotation, and I will try him out. So thank you all for watching this video. I'm College Lefty, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Hopefully you have a wonderful day. Peace out.